Let's fact check the fact checkers right now. We're gonna fact check um, a Twitter's. Um, we're gonna fact check Twitter's um, fact check. So let let's find out. Let's see. Hmm. Let's turn. The media is lying to you. Sauce! Don't just question the mainstream media. Also question the alternative stream media. Don't just question the mainstream social media. Also question the alternative stream social media. Hello YouTube, it is I, the amazing Kedio Sotis, with another video, and today we're going to be talking about why the media is lying to you. You know, the media is more concerned with curing boredom and perpetuating the bread and circus rather than teaching people how to think, rather than what to teaching people how to think rather than what to think. They are more concerned about keeping you irate, irrational, hateful, and angry. Just as long as they rake in the views. It all goes back to the whole, to, as I said before. They are more concerned about perpetuating the bread and circus rather than teaching people how to think rather than what to think. It is not, and it is not just, just the woke media, but also the anti-woke media. And the anti-woke media feeds into the woke media just as much, which is why it's very what, which is why it's a very wise thing to not pay attention to either as much. Because, you know, feeds that Leviathan. It is not just the woke media, but also the anti-woke media. It is not just the mainstream, but also the, the alt-stream. Or alternative stream. They want you perpetuated. Perpetually outraged. They want you to be perpetually outraged. The algorithm is designed. To continue. To pull in more ratings. Anyone can make you. Emo if any anyone who can make you emotionally reactive. Has, has power over you. If you don't like other people people having that kind of power over you, then you need 
then you need to be responsible for learning to regulate and manage your own emotions so that you and only you and only you get to control them. You see, as long as you continue to rage against the machine, then you will rage for the machine. If you wish to know the truth, then turn that then turn the, the divinely damned television and or computer screen off. Hmm. <laughs> Touch grass, get together with loved ones, sit in silence, seek the divine, seek the wise counsel of your teachers and masters. I, unlike the mindless sheep, get upset not because of my certainty of things, but rather because I am uncertain of things. It upsets me that there are things that I am not just oblivious to, but also things that I either don't fully, com fully or completely, or, 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 or completely do or completely understand. Far too many would rather like, would, would, would rather live under fascism if it means that they don't have to confront their bias, their own bias, rather than live in freedom and liberty, which means self-reflection. See, some see, people would rather live under tyranny that meant that they didn't have to reflect on the things that they are, that the thoughts that are coming into their minds, and the thing and the actions that they're taking in accordance with those thoughts. It is not what our founding fathers laid out. It's not what they thought or even acted upon. They wanted people to question their thoughts, or rather the thoughts which had, had them. And they wanted people to question even the actions. And unfortunately, generations of people and more recent decades don't do this.